Today's tutorial is about looking at what you are recording and why, and about a thing called wild tracks, which are imperative to any professional sound edit. Recording is fundamental to everything that we'll be discussing in these tutorials. Without good recordings, there's only a costly world of pain and stress. It does not take a lot of planning to be completely aware of what's required for the whole project. Listen to your location. This is where you need to start using your ears. Unless you see what you're hearing, you may be standing beside a noise source and not even hear it. You need to use your ears and be aware of what's around you. See your world through your ears. Also, in a previous tutorial about being prepared, I suggested that you get as much information as possible from the director or the producer about that location. And if you can, try and get down there and see what you can see. Wild tracks are the ambient noise of the location. They're used in the sound edit or the sound mix to give a broad feel for the location and are exceptionally handy when dialogue is being edited. It doesn't take a lot of time to record one minute sample of a location sound. Though because of budget and time constraints, wild tracks have become a luxury. And because of those constraints, when recording wild tracks, you've got to be strong. You're doing your job. The director, the producer, everyone on set will have to understand that you need to perform this aspect of your work. Learn the phrase STFU. Shut the up. If you're a director or a producer, bring a stereo recorder in your pocket. You can buy recorders for under 100 bucks, maybe even cheaper secondhand. If the sound guy is too busy, at least you know that you have the wild tracks. Or even easier, you could carry something like this. It's an IXY from Rode and it plugs straight into your iPad, your iPhone. And with the software, you have a high quality stereo recorder. There are a few versions of this type of mic, but I find that the Rode IXY is an exceptionally good pair of mics. They're probably the best sounding mics of their type you can get. I recommend that you ident each recording with a little explanation of what you're recording at the start of each take. We've covered understanding what we are recording and choosing the best location for the best results. Join me again for the other part of this location recording tutorial. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. Tell us what you think. You can like, comment or share this video and please come by the Adorama Learning Centre for more great advice and information.